today we will understand that portraits can express feelings and moods, observe and discuss proportion in portraits, and make sketches of classmates based on proportion grid observation. Materials Pencils, 12 by 18 inch paper, and erasers. One way to tell how a person feels is to look at their facial expression. A portrait is a close-up view of a person. Proportion is the relationship and size of different objects or areas. Today we'll look at expressions of the models and paintings and learn about the proportions in the human face. The portraits in these pictures show the feelings or moods of people. An expression might show that a person feels happy, sad, angry, or tired. What parts of the face help to give it an expression? What expressions do you see on the faces in these pictures? A portrait also helps you know if a person is young or old. How do these artworks help you see the differences in people? What other differences do you see in each artwork? What expression do you see on the boy's face? What clues tell you more about the boy? Studio time, sketching faces. Look at the dotted lines on these faces. Most lines show the proportions of a person's face. Most people's eyes are almost halfway between the bottom of the chin and the top of the head. When you draw a line down the middle of a face, the two halves are mirror images of each other. You should begin your drawing by drawing the basic oval for the shape of your classmate's face. Next, you can add the dotted lines that cross the center of the face. You should draw these basic shapes very lightly because you will erase the lines and modify the shape of the oval as you draw. Finally, you can begin sketching the hair and features. Remember that this portrait is a close-up view of a person. You should investigate ways to show moods and feelings.